A storyboard is a shot-by-shot -shot plan of everything in a movie. They give the creator a visual of how the movie will unfold. Um, once the visual starts to form, the types of shots needed to match it are identified. Um, now, creating a storyboard of your movie before you ever pick up a video camera really has huge benefits. Um, it will help you develop a complete story within your movie. By that, I mean a beginning, a middle, and an end. You'll know exactly what shots you need. This will be a big time saver. When you do pick up the video camera, you'll know exactly what needs filmed. If you add a script to your storyboard, actors in your movie will sound more professional and be less likely to stumble over words during filming, too. Now, iMovie 11 has a feature called animatics that can be used to build and print a storyboard. To use it, you have to create a new project. So we'll go up to File and New Project, and I'll go ahead and name mine Animatics. I'll leave everything else the same and go ahead and click Create. And then I'll go over here to the Media Browser buttons on your toolbar on the far right side, and I'll click on the one that says Show or Hide, Map, Background, and Animatic Browser on that and if you'll scroll down all the way to the bottom you'll start to see black and gray images some with people some without some close up some far away and you can use these to build your storyboard if I know that I want to start my story in my video with a close-up of a man then I'll go ahead and add that animatic by default each one of these are four seconds long if I know that I want that to be longer, I just go into the blue action wheel right there, flip adjustments, and change the duration. I'll change this to 8 seconds so you can see. And enter that and then click Done. Let's, sing the, let's say the next thing I want to show is man's best friend. I'm going to show the actor's animal. So I'll add that in there. And then after that I'll probably want to show them the location in which they are being filmed. So I'm starting to create a little storyboard here, the type, types of shots now that I, that I know that I need to go film. A couple cool things about this is, um, one, you can print this. You can go up to File, Print Project. Now my laptop is not connected to a printer, so I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna have the ability to show you a preview, but it will, give you the ability to print this off and that can ha that can be handy you can take it with you and jot down notes or maybe show other people the storyboard that don't have iMovie the other thing that you can do is whenever you get your storyboard created and you know the types of shots that you need to go film let's say that you've gone and filmed them and you've brought them into an event you can once your video clips are in an event. I'll go ahead and close this browser so we have more room for the event to show. Once I have my video clips, I can click on the video clip and just simply drag and drop this video clip right over the appropriate animatic. Now, something you saw right here, I dropped the video on top of the specific animatic and I have some options. Replace from start will preserve the timing of the animatic. So remember I changed that to eight seconds. So that will give me eight seconds of this video that I, that I brought up. If I just choose replace, it will use the timing of the clip that is selected. So down here, I think I just chose um, four seconds of a clip. Let's see. So if I click replace, just get the four seconds that I originally chose down here and then you can also see exactly what frames I'm using that are they're indicated right there by that orange bar those are frames that I'm using up in my project so instead of creating a whole new project once you have your storyboard complete just simply drag and drop and replace the shots